Okay, this is an introduction to trigonometry and this is designed for the two unit HSC course in year 11. Okay, so these are the, all the topics we need to cover and in particular we'll be looking at the first three in this video. Okay, so let's start with the three basic trigonometric ratios and their reciprocals. Okay, so the three basic trig uh, ratios are sine, cos and tan. And they refer to this right angle triangle on the right hand side. And you should all be able to label this uh, the sides. The longer side is called the hypotenuse. I'm going to abbreviate that with, a, with an H. The opposite is simply called the opposite, and the side next to the angle is called the adjacent. Okay, so now to define uh, the ratios. Okay, uh, so angle theta, adjacent. Okay, so. Sine is simply the ratio of opposite divided by hypotenuse. Cos is the ratio of adjacent divided by hypotenuse. And tan is opposite divided by the adjacent. Uh, for example, if we had a 3, 4, 5, uh, diagram the, the sign uh, of this triangle would be the opposite which is 3 over the hypotenuse which is 5 ok so let's go on and look at our reciprocal ratios. Now, a reciprocal is something that, when multiplied by its original, gives one. So, for example, the reciprocal of a third would be three, because a third multiplied by three is one. The reciprocal of y is 1 over y, because those multiplied together give 1. Okay, so let's look more closely how to define those reciprocals. Okay, so it's going to be 1 over sine, 1 over cos, 1 over tan. Okay, we abbreviated our trig functions as O over H, A over H, and O over A. Okay, so we can go on to define our reciprocal ratios. Uh, cosec is 1 over sine. We know the sine is opposite over hypotenuse, and the same for the rest of the ratios. Okay, so that leaves us to divide to divide one divided by opposite of a h. And you should know how to divide fractions. I'm just going to do this one as an example. You change the divide sign to multiply and you invert the second fraction. One times h is h. Um, and one times opposite is just opposite because one as a fraction is just one over one. So the cosec defined in opposite hypotenuse adjacent terms is just hypotenuse over opposite. Okay, so pause the video and see if you can write sec x in terms of a, h, 
and O, and cortex in terms of AH and O. Okay, so you should have found that sec X is H divided by A and cortex is A divided by O when referring to this right angle, angle triangle, which I'm going to label again. Okay. So, we next need to look at some very important angles. We call these special angles, and they are 30, 45, and 60. We call them special angles because we can define them exactly in terms of square roots and integer numbers. Okay, so let's look at our library of functions again. We know what the sine is, we know what the cos is, we know what the tan is. Can you name the three reciprocal functions? Okay. Cosec theta, sec theta, and cot theta. Okay. So, to find the values of these ratios for 45 degrees, we need to look at the triangle on the left-hand side of the screen. And this triangle ABC has a side length of 1 and has three angles. The right angle, 90 degrees, and two angles, 45 degrees. And this comes from taking half a square with a side length 1. So if you wanted to, you could turn that into a square. By Pythagoras, we can find the hypotenuse, which is root 2. Okay, so let's find the sine, cos, and tan exactly using this right angle triangle. Well, let's do that then. Sine of 45 degrees is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. Okay, so we select one of the 45 degrees. I'm going to select this one. So the opposite is going to be 1, and the hypotenuse is going to be root 2. So sine 45 is 1 over root 2. Okay, let's look at the cos 45. We know that cos is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Selecting our 45 degree angle, the adjacent is 1 and the hypotenuse is root 2. Okay, let's find tan 45 degrees. That's equal to opposite over adjacent. The opposite is 1 and the adjacent is just 1. Okay, now we need to find the reciprocal ratios. Cos, cosec, sec. Cot. Okay. 45. Sec 45. And cot 45. Okay, so going back to our previous definition of a reciprocal, we need to find something to multiply 1 over the root of 2. To give 1, well, that's root 2, root 2, and 1 times 1 is 1. So we can fill in this table, root 2, root 2, 1. Okay. Now, let's look at finding the angles of those ratios using 30 and 60 degrees. Here, uh, triangle PQR 
we take an equilateral triangle with side length 2. So we've just dropped an altitude or a perpendicular line and that's what the dotted line is there. So the resulting angles are 60 and 30 and by Pythagoras we can find that the height or the altitude and that is root 3. Okay, I want you to pause the video and I want you to find uh, the rest of those angles, 30, 60, using all your ratios. Okay, so you should have found all those ratios. I'm just going to do it quickly. Uh, this is going to be half. This is going to be root 3 over 2. It's going to be 1 over root 3. This is going to be 2, 2 over root 3, root 3, root 3 over 2, half, root 3, 2 over root 3, 2, and then finally 1 over root 3. Okay, so I'm just going to explain how to get cot 60. Let's write that down then. Cot 60 degrees. Now cot is 1 over tan 60 degrees. We know that 1 over tan 60 is One over tan sixty is root three. And that gives us our final answer. Okay, so that should be committed to memory. We should be able to reproduce this table and know where each of the values come from. Okay, so let's have a look at an application of this. Uh, we need to apply the ratios to the, to the right angle triangle and in gen general plural triangles. Find the following ratios. Okay, well... This is going to be our opposite value, this is going to be our adjacent value, and by Pythagoras, we can write that our hypotenuse is going to be alpha squared plus beta squared, the square root of. Okay. Uh, so the sine of theta is opposite alpha over hypotenuse, which is going to be the root of alpha squared plus beta squared. Cos is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse, which is going to be beta over square root of alpha squared plus beta squared. Tan is going to be opposite over adjacent, which is simply alpha over beta. And I would like you to pause the video to do cosec, sec squared and cot squared yourself. Okay, so you should, should have worked those out. So cosec theta is just going to be uh, 1 over or, or the reciprocal of sine theta. Okay, so that's going to be sec squared is going to be 1 over cos squared 
all are squared. Okay, I'm going to write this down the bottom so we have more space. It's going to be 1 over beta squared all over Okay, uh, 1 squared is just 1, beta squared, don't know where it is, beta squared, and it's, this will get away, get rid of the square root, so we just have alpha squared plus beta squared, and if we divide those out, we just get alpha squared plus beta squared all over beta squared. And you can leave that like that, or you could rewrite it as alpha squared over beta squared plus 1. Okay, so let's have a look at cot squared theta plus 1. I'm going to rub this out, run out of space. Okay, so cot is 1 over tan. Uh, we, we need to square it, so square that. And we need to add 1. Okay, well, 1 squared is just 1. Alpha squared over beta squared plus 1. Well, if we divide that going to get beta squared over alpha squared plus 1 and sometimes we like to write, uh, write our values with the same denominator so we could rewrite that as beta squared plus alpha squared all over alpha squared okay and both these answers are acceptable. Okay, that concludes uh, this video and uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you.